Hey everyone, Cranberry Alarm, RA3D here. Um, today we're going to be going over um, de algifying the reef. Um, so here we got a, we're very fortunate enough to get a full um, team version of the reef here. We got the Antimark version of the coral tree and another version of the Thrifty Pop version made with gussets and one and a, half, one and a quarter PVC pipe. This video on fun is brought to you by viewers like you and also in partnership with the following. For over 100 years, Kettering University has offered a better education because from day one, that education has been built on hands-on co-op learning. Kettering's impressive alumni network includes founders, presidents, CEOs, and front runners who have a reputation for transforming industries with their resolute leadership. Apply today at kettering.edu slash first. Go ad free and access our videos earlier when you support fun with a membership through YouTube Join. For $4.99 a month USD, you can now watch most of our YouTube videos ad-free and gain early access to scheduled content with other options also available. Click the join button below to get started. So yeah, we're just going to talk about kind of how the algae kind of sits in here um, and how that all looks. Um, so for the most part, the algae sits in here really well. And for also to note, the PVC will move around a bit more than the steel version will. Um, that's due to the nature of it. But they are really representative of kind of how the field will act. But um, for the most part, the algae is in here pretty well. Um, it should be pretty clear of these two edges up here. So um, depending on how the ball is, uh, we've noticed that some of the balls that we have are pretty egg-shaped um, in a few different ways. So uh, on this, but there's plenty of clearance here, not a lot of clearance here. If I take this ball out and probably put it back in, I might get a different result. Um, yeah, for the most part, if I even come from the bottom and just hit up, it still sits in there pretty nicely. Um, there it came out a little bit. Um, I can grab it and move out a little bit, but the ball rolls. Um, kind of hitting from the sides doesn't do a whole lot, and it looks like there it actually kind of like lodged itself on the upper side, so there I have clearance. Um, so these things might be moving around just a little bit and might ledge themselves, well, uh, lodge themselves in different ways inside the, um, the reef spokes. Um, but yes, yeah, so that's the, um, the L2, the L3 slot. Um, this is the L3, L4 slot, um, which kind of, they, they act pretty much the same. Um, and even hitting from the top, you can't just regularly hit it out. And according to what we have seen, the outer edge of the algae sits about two inches away from this wall. So if your bumpers are greater than two inches, which our bumpers will be sitting at three and a half inches in total, that means that to be able to de the reef, you have to um, extend outside your frame perimeter. Um, so we're gonna, we were looking at a couple ways of doing that and we landed upon this design, which is a simple wheel intake that we're going to be using here to kind of demonstrate um, different points uh, that we can use to basically eject the algae out. Um, so let's go and do it. So we're going to start with showing the wheel from the bottom. We're going to do the top, bottom and the top, and we'll show kind of a few different points. So we'll start all the way kind of on the very back edge, uh, almost at the center point of it. Make sure I'm going the right way. All right, here we go. So there on the bottom, we're not getting a whole lot of grab. It looks like we're probably hitting a few things. Gotcha. So if you were able to fit between them, maybe you'd have a bit better results. We're coming out a little bit farther. Okay, about a little bit more farther. There we had some pretty good results. Out a little bit farther. There was really nicely. And basically almost kind of out to this back edge right here. And there we were able to get it out. Let's go and demonstrate the L2, L3 slot also. Uh, we'll start on the bottom here. There we go. And then go down just a little bit. There we go. And there we go. So it seems like um, when we put the wheel on the bottom side, we seem to have the best results um, near the outer edge of the, of the ball. So let's go and try the top edge now. And so you do need a little bit of compression on it to get it to come out, but it looks like it comes out um, a little bit nicer than the bottom side does, and it kind of pivots around this uh, top edge right here. There you go. We'll go move out a little bit further. And we are moving ourselves a little bit just to the nature of holding this, but I think it is representative. There we moved quite a bit. <laughs> Here, we'll try revving it up and get closer. There you go. So it pulls it out very, very nicely. And let's go and just try on the very, very outer edge. And there you go. 
And that basically shows our um, prototype of dealgifying the reef. Um, we really believe that being able to remove uh, algae from the reef is going to be super important for a number of reasons. You can score the algae. It allows you to score more coral um, and plenty more reasons like that. It enables a lot more parts of the game. And that'll about do it for dealgifying the reefs. Thank you guys for watching. Um, and be sure to check out more Cranberry Alarm ri 3 d videos on Fun Robotics Network. This video on fun is brought to you by viewers like you and also in partnership with the following. For over 100 years, Kettering University has offered a better education because from day one, that education has been built on hands-on co-op learning. Kettering's impressive alumni network includes founders, presidents, CEOs, and front runners who have a reputation for transforming industries with their resolute leadership. Apply today at kettering.edu first.